Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I really need to tell you a story. In fact, I pulled over to tell you this story. I was um, driving down the road. I noticed I, I needed some gas. And when I was about to pull over to get the gas, I noticed a person standing with a sign um, asking for money. And it was raining here. It's been raining the last several days and a lot of storms. So I couldn't tell if it was male or female. If they were male or female, I couldn't tell if they were black or white. None of that mattered because something in my spirit said, you have to do something for them. Well, all the cash that I had on me was gone. The car cash is gone. Um, as my granddaughter says, the car cash is not for us, is it, Googie? <laughs> no, it's not for us, honey. Anyway, I um, went to get gas and I went inside um, and, you know, it was near a bank teller, a bank ATM, and I went in and I, well, I didn't have to go inside, it's outside. I went to it and I got some cash. And in my spirit, I knew I had to do a little bit more than I typically do from the car cash. And so I did. And I pulled up to the person. I still couldn't tell if they were black or white. I still couldn't tell if they were male or female. None of that mattered. Their face was, had all the lines and the signs of having gone through something rough. Their voice had the signs of going through way too much. Their hair was long and flowy and beautiful. And when I pulled up, I had to tap the horn. Now the light that usually turns too quickly for some reason remained red for the longest time. They turned around and I smiled and I handed the money out. They saw the amount of money and began to cry. They picked up their bag to leave and get out of the rain, which was so good. And they were crying and thanking me and saying, thank you. They looked down at that money again and realized that the burden of not having something to eat or some place to tuck into, that burden was gone. But the bigger burden that they had and carried and needed to share with somebody was still there. And they looked at me and began to wail and said, my cat died yesterday. I told them that I understood that pain. I understood that pain. See, here you can get into a shelter, some of these places for five, ten dollars, and they had enough to do all of that, but that cat was still gone. I said, what's your cat's name? Then I realized I should probably ask their name. They told me their name. The cat's name was Oscar. I said, honey, I'm so sorry. And I said, but my Othello, and my Bella are in heaven with Oscar. And it took us meeting to get them together to remind us that everything's gonna be okay. They cried some more. I cried some more. I imagine Bella and Othello running around Oscar. And in that moment, I realized that there's so much more that connects us than doesn't. Sometimes it takes our furry family members to remind us of our own humanity. And sometimes the story that we think we're telling about who we are, about what we have, and what we don't have, or our lack, or our ability or, or abundance. That's not the story. The story is in the connection. And we need each other to tell it. I love you.